Hey, hey, yo, what is it? This is your man, LaVon, and this is LaVon Says. Just want to welcome you to my channel if it's your first time. And if you're returning, welcome back. Please hit that subscribe button and please turn on the bell notification so you're always notified upon my next video upload. Remember, Lamella E, love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. LamellaE.com. Now let's get into it. Again, this is... Your man, LaVon, this is LaVon Says. If you have not subscribed, please take five seconds out and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified upon the next video upload. It helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. And let's try to build these subscribers up, you know, to over a thousand subscribers. Let's try to get this video at least to 400 likes. All right. So back in um, 2012, right? Um, your man was working at this feed plant here in California, right? And, uh, you know, was, I was doing well, you know, had earned my stripes, had, had earned my way in, right? And was doing well at this feed plant. And, uh, and, um, I had just got, I don't know if it was a promotion or some kind of acknowledgement, right? That I had just got and I, and I was happy, you know what I'm saying? I was, um, you know, I was happy cause I was like the only um, a person of color there, uh, and had been hired, you know, since way back when. So anyway, you know, I was just happy. I was kind of stoked, you know what I'm saying? And I remember coming home and going to sit in the backyard and I had me, um, you know, I had, I had, uh, a, a beer. Um, I can't remember what I had. Um, but I had a beer. Right. And and I had, you know, I didn't want to smoke no weed. Right. Because I don't want to, you know, come up hot on no tests or anything like that. And I thought I was being smart. I thought I was, you know, I was going to beat the system. I said, you know, I'm feeling good. I ain't got this promotion. This is good news. I'm going to go. I ain't going to bother nobody. I'm going to go in the backyard, sit on the side of the house, you know, where you go outside of the garage when you go empty your trash, whatever, you know. So I was out on that side of the garage, on the side of the house. And I was sitting there and I had my, I was sitting in a little lawn chair, right? And I had my beer <laughs> and, and I called myself, you know, you know, going to get a little high, a little celebration high. I know, I know, I know, but just hear me out. Listen. So I called myself, I'm going to smoke me some weed, but I'm not going to smoke no, no real weed, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to come up hot on no test or nothing like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some synthetic weed. I'm going to get me some stuff that that will get you high. But yet, if you just so happen to come up on a test, it's not going to be in your system. The, the test won't even won't even um, recognize it. You know, won't even, it, it's not going to come up because it's not testing for synthetic marijuana, right? So you show you how smart I was, so stupid. So anyway, call myself, you know, so I got this little pipe, right? I got the synthetic weed, you know, they used to come in jars, right? Little jars. And 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 the stuff I used to get was called it was called I think it was called Super Monkey. It was called <laughs> it was called Super Monkey. And I'd take a little bit out, right, and put in my pipe and fire it up. Took a, took a hit, a couple of hits, kind of hit me, kind of, oh, kind of hit me kind of hard, but it wasn't like, it was like potpourri. It, it tastes like potpourri, you know what I'm saying? I'm drinking my beer. I'm just chilling, right? I'm kind of spacing out, spassing out. I'm so God, I, I'm so glad that God had me, you know what I'm saying? I'm so glad that God was looking down on me that day and 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 had mercy on me and told one of his ministering angels to to at the time I was married to go alert my wife you know to go check on me and see about me I, I was so dumb but anyway you know so I'm sitting there chilling I'm you know I'm just I'm relaxing you're right I'm playing the music and I like that I'm just sitting there I'm chilling I'm just enjoying the fact of I got some acknowledgement from this company. 
I've been working hard. I've been putting in hours, you know. And at the time, I was working, um, you know, I had been working through Labor Ready to get in this place. It was an attempt to hire. So when I finally got my foot in the door, they was ready to hire me. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready because I knew I was, you know, I had been doing other things. You know, I've been smoking, doing other things, so I wasn't ready. But I was cleaning. I had stopped. I was cleaning myself up, but I knew it hadn't been enough time yet, right? So I just told myself, no, I'm just not ready yet. I'm not ready. You know, let me see, weigh my options, you know, before I commit, blah, blah, blah. So then I finally, so after about a week, I said, you know what? This is a good job. It pays good. At the time, you know, for the area I was in, it was paying well. I said, you know, I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to go ahead and be honest. So what I did, I stepped to my boss and I was honest with him. I said, listen, I said, you know, the reason why I didn't want to take the test, you know, a couple weeks ago was because of this. But since the, 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 the you know, I, I've stopped, I, I'm trying to clean because I really like the job and I really want the job. And so he appreciated that I was being honest with him. Right. So he said, OK, check it out. Go ahead and, and we're going to retest you around this time frame, you know, and so it's sink or swim, you know, what I'm saying from this point. And so I was cool because I'm like, I ain't finna you know, do nothing like that. So anyway, that time came and paid and I got a job. I'm on on the job and, and doing my thing. You know, I'm working. Um, I'm work, It's a 24 hour spot. So whether I'm working, you know, 12 hours on days or 12 hours at nights, you know, I was opening and closing, you know, alarm codes, you know, you know, it was, just, it was me and another cat, another older cat. And we were just running it. You know, it was running things. So it was well. But when I got this acknowledgement, I felt like. Not that I had arrived, but felt like, okay, since I'm the only person of color here and, and they finally, after all this time, they acknowledge me, you know, I'm going to go ahead and celebrate. So I'm out there. So now I'm chilling. So then I decided to go ahead and take a second hit, right? Take a second hit. Kind of, kind of hit me a little bit, right? But I'm chilling. I'm sipping on my beer. I'm not drinking fast. I'm just sipping because I'm chilling. I'm just enjoying the moment. I'd only been out there like at this point, like maybe about 20 minutes now, right? From the time I was took maybe my second sip to my wife waking me up. Y'all hear me? I don't know what happened. I passed out. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't remember nothing. You feel me? I'm seriously, I'm not lying to y'all. I don't remember nothing. All I remember is um, a bunch of like screaming, and, not screaming, but yelling in the background, calling my name and telling me to get, am I okay? And, you know, and, and she was freaking out because, you know, she said I was face first on the dirt. I was face first on the dirt. You feel me? Like I was in a praying position. You know what I'm saying? I was face first in the dirt. My glasses was like halfway still on. My mouth was open. I mean, I was in the dirt like this. Right? And she was trying to wake me up and I couldn't wake up, you know, and it was like first... <laughs> This is how the Holy Ghost, how the Holy Spirit do. She, the Holy Spirit told her to go check on me. But instead of her coming to physically check on me, she figured she'd go look out the bathroom window. She liked the bathroom window. She just thought I was down there praying. Right? So she didn't think twice about it. And then she got that nudge again. No, I wasn't down there praying. I was passed out. So that's part one. Part two is, again, this is your man, Levon. This is Levon says, if you have not subscribed, please take five seconds out and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified upon the next video upload. It helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. And let's try to build these subscribers up, you know, to over a thousand subscribers. Let's try to get this video at least to 400 likes. All right. So part two. I didn't learn enough. You know, after she got me up and got me dragged into the house and, and took me in the shower and clothed me and cleaned me up, all that. Right. I didn't learn the first time. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I I was smart. I thought, 
okay, the first time I didn't know what I was doing. It was a fluke. It was this and this and that. And I thought, I'm good. I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. So I get off late one night from work. I get off about eight, eight o'clock, maybe, you know. No, it wasn't even 8 o'clock, I don't think. It was probably about 10, 30, close to 11 o'clock because my shift usually lent, it ended about 11 unless I had to go over because I was late or something had to be done. So, got off work and I was driving the back road, right? I didn't want to take the freeway, right? I wanted to take the back road. Why? Because I said, I'm getting off, it's chilling. I'm just going to take the back road and hit the whoop, whoop, whoop. It take me about 10 minutes to get to the house. Right, and I know I wanted to hit the super monkey again. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I just wasn't believing that that's that's what happened. I was just thinking maybe it's something it was a fluke. Some, I so I'm like, mm, I ain't believing that. Let me let me try this one more time. So I'm riding. Okay, I hit the pipe. I'm cool, and I'm not going fast. I'm only doing about 35. But this is back roads. Ain't no lights on the back roads. I mean, this is like back road, ain't like country back road. There's no lights. This is a two lane road, and your headlights. Yeah, <laughs> you dig? That's it. And it's corn on one side, and farm. You know, just so. Anyway, so I'm driving, and and I, and so I hit, I hit. I hit the pipe one more time and I put it down. Okay? So I'm driving. And as I'm driving, I can feel the high coming on. And and I can it can, it felt like almost like my car, the front of my car was I don't know like being um eaten up by the asphalt of the freeway that's in front of me. You have y'all seen them steamrollers when the steamrollers be rolling over the asphalt? Well, it felt like as I'm holding the steering wheel, my fingernails were separating from my fingers, and like my like my skin, my cells were breaking apart and and like expand. It was weird, like expanding. And like the car was started to break apart and expand like the matrix. And like the asphalt was like like a steamroller that was eating my car. My car was actually going like this into the into the ground. And it, and it seemed like the car was going like this and I was going with it into like this black hole of the ground. I just blacked out and went white. Now I'm telling you all this because God gets all the glory. He gets all of the glory. Man, his mercy is amazing. His goodness, his mercy, oh my gosh. Now y'all listen. I black out, okay? But God had mercy on me. His ministering angel that he sent in that moment down to save me, took care of me. You feel me? He took care of me. He guided me from a passed out state down that road, veering off and veered me off from hitting an oak tree that had to been about as wide as this car, if not wider. In between the road where there's a telephone, uh, a power pole where the telephone wires ran, right? And a huge oak tree that's probably at least seven foot wide that angel guided me between that telephone pole and that oak tree in that house guided me into the front door of a barn y'all hear me into the front door not the side of the barn not put a hole, into the front door of the barn no damage to the barn until i stopped up on a concrete embankment now, when I went in the barn, I hit one of the poles and the poles came down and and on top of the Camry. Yo, right down the center on top of the Camry. Right around me. Listen, God is so good, man. Right around me. You feel me? Oh, my gosh. Right around me. And after that, I came to. I was unconscious during this whole time. 
So when I came to, guess what? The car was still running. And I think I'm still driving. I, I come to like this thinking I'm still driving, not realizing that the windows all shattered and wonder why nothing's clear. I'm thinking like, so I go to turn on my windshield wipers and I, that's how I was totally unconscious passed out. And God spared me. His ministering angel came down and guided my car off the road in between that power pole and that tree straight into the barn where I came to arrest. I don't care what nobody say. That was God, bro. That was God saying, go protect my son. And that ministering angel came down at the point when I blacked out and guided my car safely. There was no damage to me. There was no damage to the barn besides that pole. There was no damage to the house. There was no damage to the tree. And what I didn't know is there was a dog tied to that tree. So I didn't hit the dog, didn't hit the tree, didn't hit the house, didn't hit the pole. Went through the front door of the barn, came to rest, and woke up to in one piece, even though my car had been dented all the way down this low. This low, y'all. This low on the side of me. Car was still running. I'm thinking I'm still driving. Jesus. I trip every time I every time I think about it, man, you know, it's just Can't nobody tell me he ain't real, man. Can't nobody tell me he ain't real and that he don't love me. He kept me alive for a reason. And check this out. That wasn't the first time he kept me alive, y'all. That's just been a many a time. Now I've learned my lesson. <laughs> you know, I don't I haven't fooled that stuff since 2012. But I'm just saying. And then what's so awesome, man, is that I didn't realize I had a seizure. You know, when I when I passed out in the backyard, I didn't realize that I had had a seizure. You dig? And so you know, after I did the second time, you know, thinking, oh, you know, it's a fluke or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was the second the second time when I was behind the wheel. I had a seizure. Y'all, I didn't know that I had had a seizure while my minister angel guided me to safety. I had had a seizure. And the reason why I know that is because... You know, when I finally, you know, got out of the situation, uh, the wife came and picked me up, you know, went to the ER, wind up going to the VA, right? And they wind up hooking all this stuff to my brain. And I had to be there for seven whole days with this thing hooked to my brain, 24 hours a day. I had to sleep with it. I had to go to the bathroom. I had to do everything with it because they were monitoring my brain pattern. They were monitoring what had caused me to have this seizure. And of course, I didn't go in there telling them, oh yeah, you know, um, I did this and I did this. But, you know, come to find out that I had no brain damage. I had no brain damage, y'all. And then later on when I found out what this stuff was, this synthetic weed, what I found out what it was is this was causing people to lose their minds. They was, people were smoking this, this, this stuff was causing people to lose their mind. Do you hear me? People was eating people's face off. People was doing all kind of crazy stuff because they was on this synthetic weed. I'm just so thankful y'all, man. Y'all don't hear me. I am so thankful, bro, that I don't have no kind of brain damage. You feel me? I don't have no kind of residual effects. You know, I mean, I, I, I struggle with memory loss a little bit here and there, but I think that's just from old age. But man, thank you for restoring me, God. Thank you for not letting me stay in that state of having seizures for the rest of my life or having a seizure that would have totally changed my life. Oh, God is so good, man. God, 
man, God is good for real. He loves me and he loves you too. And just like he has kept me over these years, I'm sure there's a testimony you can tell somebody about how he's kept you, how he saved you, how he rescued you, how he provided for you. Come on, y'all tell it. Let it be known. You know what I'm saying? Somebody out there needs to hear your testimony. They need to hear how God did it for you because it may not be how he did it for me. But your testimony may resonate with them about how he's did it for them and give them um, confidence and give them courage to open their mouth and let it be known what God has done. This your man, LaVon, and I'm out. Don't forget, Lamella E. Don't forget, LaVon says on Instagram. Don't forget, Lamella E. LLC on Facebook. Don't forget, LaVon says on Facebook. Check me out. One love.